Hi, Bob Greenie here, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. I am inspired by what I found on the PTFE exposed to the Amaz gas uh, flame, which had a black deposit on it, where there seemed to be these uh, sort of uh, hexagonal or pentagonal structures with a spot in the middle, uh, which corresponded in their density to the amount of black deposit on the surface. And also, they seem to be able to uh, displace or, or um, change the form of the surface of the PTFE such that uh, it looked a bit like um, lily pads. Um, anyway, um, so since I saw on the high speed video of the Amazagas versus uh, titanium sheet the uh, spreading out of a kind of a duller. Uh, uh, layer as the flame came across the uh, titanium this dull layer sort of went out to a certain extent and then kind of stopped um, I wondered if that might be something that's coming from the gas that caused the uh, changes to the uh, PTFE that might also be visible on the titanium so uh, what I'm looking at here is the burn through holes, uh, four of them on the titanium sheet. Uh, we can tell it's titanium because you have these wonderful iridescent sort of colors coming from uh, various thick thicknesses of um, oxidization of the titanium. And this is why they call it the rainbow metal in jewelry because um, you can anodize it to different thicknesses and produce all the various colors without actually having to color the metal. Uh, and uh, it's to do with the way that the uh, layer of oxide uh, um, changes the light as it goes down and bounces off the metal underneath. Anyway, so um, on the screen here you can see the uh, microscope image here. Uh, and what I'm going to try and do is arrange it so that we can look at both at the same time. This is where the uh, gas went through and burnt a hole. This is something now in the test in 2003. Uh, reported to Mr. Amaza, there was a, uh, a high change, sort of like uh, 13, 14, 15% uh, of aluminium synthesized from the titanium. So, uh, potentially, this is the area that that might occur. Certainly, this looks like oxides on the titanium. Um, so, uh, it'd be interesting to see what this is uh, when we look at it under the SEM. But uh, uh, interestingly, you can see these kind of like uh, uh, sort of uh, actually, that's off screen. So, maybe I'll, I'll bring it onto screen. It's going to be very rough, sorry. Um, so perhaps you can see these uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five sided structure, one, two, three, four, five, six sided structure, one, two, three, four, five, six sided structure, uh, and these more sort of uh, round ones with the spot in the middle. Uh, so we're going to have a quicker look around. So let's go down here and uh, I'll just play through the focusing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out in this direction and you'll see something interesting. So as we come over here, I don't know if that picks that up, uh, but there's this dimpled kind of array here. And uh, uh, this, obviously this is titanium, it's not PTFE. So uh, PTFE is less conductive. So perhaps whatever it is that's uh, doing this on the PTFE and, and displaced it, um, is not able to perform in the same way. Interestingly, there's something a bit like a strange radiation track. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so two large bulk structures, and these these are really quite large. Um, uh, the ones over here are sort of 420 uh, microns across. So it's more like the kind of structures that we saw on the Amaza vibrator plates. Um, uh, anyway, so you can see the dimpled area here. It's uh, about uh, five uh, millimeters from here to here. And uh, similarly, this dimpled area here uh, across this strange radiation track is, is about five uh, millimeters here. And then as we come over here, we see this becomes uh, just straight uh, titanium. Uh, and there are the odd dimples here like we saw on the uh, PTFE. And uh, if we come over here, it's just straight homogeneous uh, titanium. And come back, and homogeneous titanium, but with a few uh, dimples. And then we come, there's a lot of dimples. And then we come to these large clusters. 
Now, interestingly, if we just flip this over, I'm going to flip this over. So this is the area here we're looking at. If we flip it over. This is the top side that the gas came onto. If we flip it over, so we've got this hole we were looking at here. Uh, flip it over and go to the other side, that side of the hole. Same hole, same kind of area. Go and get it in focus. Now, on this side, I don't know if you can see this. There's our kind of hole again. Here and uh, get it in focus. And then as we come over here, you still see the iridescence, but on this side, there doesn't seem to be the dimples. Uh, no, no dimples. No dimples. No dimples. This is just kind of basic fresh titanium uh, look. There are a couple of things, but none of, none of the striking dimples. So it'll just Flip that over again. Flip it over. Boink. We're looking at that. Boink. Get down in here. So yes, yeah, so there's the same sort of corner. Move it over. Got the structure. Then the dimples. And then going out into the straight titanium. That's what I wanted you to see. The side where the gas came over, there are these dimples, and uh, uh, is that something similar to the fall off in those lily pads on the PTFE? Thank you for your time.